So let's talk quickly about the first first one, okay? So in this case, Chris always wants to pull up my arm. He's in Kesuga Tommy scarf hold. The one grip that I want everyone to realize is the blades of your arms are important. And in judo, guys are really attentive with how tight they are. So he's pulling my arm up. I'm not gonna try to fight to remove it. Instead, I'm gonna reach over and grab my own wrist and I'm gonna sink the blades of my forearms into Chris. I don't wanna do this. I don't wanna do this either because the blades are not no longer affecting Chris. So I just wanna grab here, here, but the blades get active on Chris. It gives a good squeeze for him too. So now we're just gonna do the judo rollover as me and Dave first practiced years ago. And then we're gonna talk about a lot of the concepts that he uses now instead. So in this case, I bridge Chris to the right, to the center, and then to the left to pull him over. And it takes a lot of effort. So we go here, bridge, bridge, bridge. Then we come up on the, on to the top and we move up towards his back, okay? And that's what we'll show first. Still incredibly effective, especially if you're a big, strong guy on the bottom, okay? So we're here. He has my grip. I grip my own forearm, so the blades of my forearms are going against Chris's rib cage. Here, here. We're fine. Now, my feet are close to my rear so I can get a maximum bridge, and I'm gonna move horse over to the right, middle, and left. Bridge, bridge, bridge. Step, step. So we are nice and on his back.